Dear customers, greetings from Crisco Software. In this video demonstration, I am going to show you how to make OPT registration. This OPT registration is mainly done by the front office, you know, staff member who is, you know, uh, you know, handle, you know, dealing with the, you know, customers uh, to, you know, take the doctor's appointment and taking the fund also for this doctor appointment. To perform this thing, first you need to click into the login button and provide the, the designated login and password. So here I am going to give the, uh, you know, demo. I am going to use the demo login. After successful login, I see there is an outpatient, you know, uh, you know, header. Under outpatient, there is a out under outpatient header. There is a link called patient appointment. So I click here. And then I see this window. This window is to uh, you know uh, you know to select the you know clinic. So here in this case there is only one hospital. So uh, if in case a hospital has multiple you know branches, then you can also you know from the drop down list you can select that branch. Now from here I choose the doctor. From the doctor I suppose uh, these are the registered doctor for this clinic. And suppose I want to choose this doctor called Medicine you know Anita Bishwas. Okay, I choose this one and then it shows that in, in the demo hospital, which is the demo login here, that 27th July maximum of 100 patient uh, is uh, can be registered uh, for this doctor and book under book, I can book that, you know, doctor. So I click the book and then the moment I click book, that booking date is actually populated, which I cannot change. It is not changeable. Okay, now I need to give the MR number or phone number. So generally, when the patient is coming from the, you know, um, uh, first time, uh, you know, if, if you give the phone number, then if the patient coming from the first time, MR number is uh, not possible to have. MR number stands for medical record number, which is only possible at least one time, you know, the customer has visited, the patient has visited, so that you can generate the MR number. And also the pretty practical thing is that when the you know repeated patient also coming, they do not really remember the MR number. They what they recall is their phone number. So you can just type the phone number here. And if that phone number matches with the existing database of the clinic, then corresponding all data will be fetched out. If it is not, then it will ask for the new entry. Now suppose it may possible the patient has come and not able to recall the phone number. Or MR number, which is very unlikely, but still there is an option to search by you know patient name. There is a sign up interrogation. If I click here, then it shows that search by patient name. Then I can enter the patient name and I can search. But that is not important in this case. Now I am going to you know uh, show uh, how by uh, giving the phone number it is possible. Suppose I give a phone number called two one three four one and two one three four one. And I see it is a new patient. That's why all this data I need to fill it up. First name I give suppose you know <coughs> um, Motu Swami. Uh, you know last name is. Then phone number is already populated. Date of birth. You know email ID. If you want to provide email ID, uh, you can provide. It is not mandatory though. Date of birth. Um, you know. Uh, you know let me give a you know date of birth you can either give date of birth or age so i give a age uh, suppose 52 and if i give 52 then an approximate age is getting calculated here gender i can choose male married yes education if you can give you can give that uh, mtech okay if it is family monthly income, if it is not mandatory, you can give a referral category is not mandatory, but you can give that from where that, you know, particular patient is came to know about your, uh, you know, the clinic uh, or hospital. So you can say that if it is from advertisement, referred by, you can also, if it is required, you can refer by doctor's name also you can write. Now, after that, all these fields are not that very important. And in case it is important also, you know, it is self-explanatory. So you can give the country India, then state and district, I can give Karnataka, then I can give Bengaluru, Urban. And then uh, appointment type is OPD, then purpose is consultation, 
you write the consultation suppose and you can write the address also you can write the address here you know <coughs> uh, I just give a name uh, you know uh, Indira Nagar uh, Bengaluru after that you know registration amount uh, you, you already you, you, because this doctor has a registration amount of 100 but this also editable you know uh, you can um, you, you can you can write uh, whatever the you know other uh, registration amount and vaccination and others that amount also you can fill consultation you can write rupees you know 100 then you can write uh, you know injection uh, rupees 300 then in vaccination others you can write 300 and you see the entire bill now becomes 400 now if there is any procedure chart that also you can write means whatever is required that you can write here and then uh, then 400 rupees bill has happened and uh, you can write the payment mode as cash uh, other payment mode also available like to a swipe card you know swipe account health card corporate account online payment that you can write cash so paid amount uh, already paid is zero so paid amount is a full amount i'm writing 400 and um, then initial assessment is also important to write initial assessment you can write that you know the front office can write that initial assessment and that will be eventually be available to the doctor's login when doctor is going to prepare the you know uh, you know digital prescription i will show you in another video how doctor can prepare digital prescription using this you know software solution so initial assessment you can write later i could write a high fever uh, with uh, headache okay and um, uh, also there are some height weight is there blood pressure you can all these things you can write blood pressure you can write suppose uh, you know 130 by you know uh, 82 uh, you can write the you know uh, height weight you can write is there you know um, you know uh, for, uh, you can write uh, 7 and uh, weight you can write is the uh, 60 kg and then after that you can save appointment you can save the appointment after saving the appointment you see there is a pop-up window came appointment successfully saved for the patient id you know uh, with serial number one time is 7 30 and also an sms also goes to the patient with this appointment now patient needs to know or you know so this uh, you know appointment um, sorry the sms into the um, in, into the doctor's panel and doctor understand that this is the patient who actually registered in this way the patient appointment is being taken care now to know um, just to show you uh, another feature to know that exactly how many transactions happen today uh, in the opd uh, then the concerned uh, person the front of his staff can go to the my report you will see here my report and after that you know there are a lot of reports i will come back in later with some other videos and you can see the today's appointment uh, you can uh, write you see and you see there's the appointment happened on the this was this thing and if you want to see that you know uh, daily collection uh, you know um, hospital daily collection register if you see view summary you will see this many you know uh, <coughs> transaction happened and out of that uh, you know uh, one appointment happened with 400 rupees now if you click the view summary you get this view now if you click into the view details you get a detailed view you know it, it gives a detailed view that uh, you see that OPD in uh, Muthu Swami is uh, 300 rupees uh, injection and 100 rupees consultation fee and detailed description is provided. So with this also along with that you know uh, taking the uh, OPD registration you can also know the exactly how many transactions has been done um, through this report. Um, that's all about this video. Uh, I hope uh, you understand in case of any you know smallest doubt never hesitate to drop an email to us at support at kriskosop.com that is s u p p o r t at k r i s k o s o f t dot com thank you very much